Ebene jalele kunsi samakosa chikalele. Kwatuka kasanjala nganjenge nyama kasi. Zemtabeni, kuse kuse nyukbas ni kumi na njala jalo. Yeopa ubenuka, yeopa ushutileyo. Traditionally, what is going to happen is that as early as 3 a.m., the royal contingent of senior traditional leaders as well as senior members of the royal family will journey to the funeral parlor to go and collect the body. And then they will travel from the funeral parlor and come through uh, the royal palace. In that rendezvous, it's where um, the wives, the mother, the sisters, and the entire bro broader family of the Sigao royal family will be seated, waiting for it. And then there will be an early morning vigil, which will be conducted. And at that time, the, 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 the coffin will be draped with the royal skin, which is a combination of a lion skin as well as the leopard skin. This is the first of its kind where we're mixing our culture, our traditional culture, with the military culture. Uh, we have been instructed by the Commander-in-Chief, which is our President, Cyril Ramaphosa. The military will drape the coffin in the most senior colours of the country, which is the flag of South Africa. And then they will march out of the hut, which is Undlungulu, the great place where the king will be um, <laughs> departing from. They will march to the uh, Maki tent that is just outside adjacent to the crawl and then to the, to the palace. And then there they will be having their full service. A cloud of sadness has descended upon the Amakosa nation and indeed on the entire South African nation. It was for this reason and out of respect of His Majesty that we declared that our nation's flag should be flown at half-mast. In this king we have lost an outstanding leader of our people. 